neighbor's working on his car today. He's actually a mechanic. Anyway, welcome back to DMAC Customs. Mate, welcome back to DMAC Customs. Uh, thanks for coming back. Welcome along if it's your first time. Um, if it's your first time, hit the subscribe button. Should be down there on the left, maybe, or it's on, on the channel homepage and stuff like that anyway. Uh, much appreciated if you do that and thanks and welcome along to all the new subscribers that have jumped on recently so that's really cool today's video back in the area 51 literally see i'm sitting in it uh, accelerator pedal fabrication install mounting day so let's have a look Okay, so the other week, uh, well, actually a couple of months ago now, I was at a at this Taronga Spring Street swap meet, and I bought this little gas pedal off a of, off a dude there. Um, he had it in a Model A, but he couldn't get it to sit right and give him full throttle. So I um I bought it. So this is what I want to do. Let's get it in down down here. Somewhere, I've got my, my brake pedal kind of sitting where I kind of would like it. Would be cool if it was over a bit further, but the, this is in the way. And if I take it to the other side, it, the brake pedal ends up way over here. So what I'd like is this sitting around about about hereish, maybe. So what I'm going to do is make up a template to make a pedestal sort of thing to sort of hold it up about maybe about 40 mil off the firewall off the tow board sort of thing i did have it screwed up on here but it was just it was in the wrong place but, so i want it kind of mounted up a wee bit and uh that sits about there that's my plan anyway here's my template that i just whipped up out of some cardboard so what i'm thinking is having that sits up about there hopefully i've got the camera pointing in the right direction and so that puts my pedal around about about there -ish. so it sits about there and hopefully that's a good comfy spot so now i've got to convert this into metal Ta -da, converted into metal the idea is that sits on there and that way the pedal will get full swing past the pedestal as well at our idle hopefully around there and then full noise and this is clockable too so i can adjust where that top arm needs to be easily as easily as i'm doing an allen key about there i reckon but before i do that i'm wondering whether i should get in here before i get any stuff in the way and actually cut a little plate and weld up that Weld up that, weld up those. Now I don't even know what that one's for. Oh, that was from drilling through a spot weld on the other side for that brace, that's right. Um, mind you, I could weld up all of those once I've um, get the body off and it's probably the best way to go. But in the meantime, I might squirt some edge prime on the back of this. So I decided against welding up those old holes on the firewall for now because there's some other metal like a double skin thing going on behind it which I'll have to remove but I've got to do that in the firewall side and the motors in the way at the moment so I'm still going to mount up the pedal because that's what I want to do today so I can pretend that I'm driving but what I'm going to do mark my holes on on my little bracket that I made drill some holes, I'm going to put some um, steel rib nuts in here to be able to affix it to and then when we come to carpet it, that's, we might just end up with that kind of sticking out of the carpet that'll be alright, I reckon I could put carpet over the top of it somewhat but it'll be alright, trust me 
and make it look pretty pretty cool. Mark, just drill these holes. Put put your tools away as you need to. It's the smart money. There's my rib nuts in. How cool is that? Something I thought I'd better actually check that. Excuse <coughs> me, the, the um, pedal's going to swing past the bracket. The whole kind of almost the whole point of doing this. Got carried away with my new ribbon nut gun, you know, like you just they're such good fun, such a cool little tool. Yeah, so that's gonna swing past easy as for for full throttle. Bring the noise. So that's my bracket ready to go. Put it on the firewall, tow board area where I'm gonna put it, and um I'll mark some marks on there. I was going to do it with a sharpie, but there's black etch primer on there now, so I just got to get a white pencil and uh, put some marks on there so I can um, grind a little bit of that primer and that off, that etch off, so I can do some plug welds into there. I thought about bolting it, but then I don't want to have nuts and bolts on that side of the firewall. That just, yeah, no, so I'm going to put some plug welds in and weld this little, this guy. And that's what those holes are for on there. So I just gotta get a pencil. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, it'd be really cool if you could just hit the little subscribe button and uh, and that, and notifications bell and stuff like that. Yeah, come on board. We got some stuff gonna happen eventually. So that's, as you can see, ground out there. You just want some clean steel to try and get some fairly nice-ish pluggy welds on there. So I might plug up those little screw holes and stuff while I'm, before I kind of put that, well, that pedestal in there. Um, then I can drill a hole for the cable, which I just got in the mail the other day. So hence I'm back on this. Um, little part of the project so i bought got the bought the cable off um off the line Am amazon i think it was or ebay one of those ones and um i thought it was coming from america but it actually came from china so it took a little while um but yeah that should be about the right length so i just plug up those little holes and then uh weld that little bracket into place and then then we can play with the cable. Cool. I'll just get my welder and stuff. Okay, so that's my little pedestal welded on there. Next, I guess I've got to figure out where to drill a hole for my cable to come through. Where the most natural place for that to be would be... I've got to figure out how much cable pokes through the firewall first. So... Let me just get rid of this welder and everything real quick. So here's my, my cable that I got off, off the interweb. Um, this is the bit that comes through the firewall to the pedal. So it's got this little clevis thing. I don't even know if that's the right word, but it's got one of those little U-shaped things and a pin and a little extremely losable little clip. I will probably lose that just so you know. Um, so here's my thinking. Look, this is the firewall, this gap between this locking nut and that hexagonal doohickey there. So 
if I basically end up with my back arm on the pedal, this, this bit here kind of finishing that far away. So I'm going to measure. This is not a how to video, by the way. This is me just trying to figure out stuff in my own head, verbal or outside of my own head. So I want it to land. 50 millimeters that's metric which is two inches for those of you who don't speak metric um, so that'll put that right about there now should I go for the middle hole the top hole the bottom hole I have no idea there's three holes on this Pedal. I'm not sure if you can see, but see there's three pedal, pedal, uh, three holes on that pedal. Um, I was thinking maybe if I aim for the, the middle hole, that way if I screw this up sideways I can go and put a, another hole um, either side relatively easily-ish. So, Gonna be my center line vertically, so that will be one one. Um, who do you mean? What's it? One my vertical. So that'll put my. There. So, so that idle, that arm will be sitting there, the pedal will be sitting there, but I can adjust this pedal to sit a little bit lower because it seems to be like all OEM stuff, the pedal sits just a little little bit lower. But I'm gonna I'm gonna aim for it seems like an awful lot. Let me just double check. Because it would be uh, still 50 mil. It hasn't grown or shrunk any, so I need to get a drill a hole, eight mil hole, maybe nine or even ten would be a safe. Gives me a little bit of wiggle, for getting things in on funny angles. If I if I make it too tight a tolerance, Murphy's law dictates that it'll be slightly out of off center and then I'll end up just rounding out the hole anyway to get it where it needs to go so I will do maybe a 10 mil hole I'll be careful not to drill a hole through the head of the motor motor right drill okay so I've got my um, cable mounted through there it's got a quite well cable outer cable sort of thing now this cable didn't come with any washers or anything so I think eventually I will put washers on there as well but for now for mock-up purposes I'll, I'm not going to um, just in case you were wondering um, now I just got to get the cable inner feed that back through hook the little clevisy thing up onto here and then we'll have a little play around at the throttle body and see how that kind of works what's going on out there is it? traffic so managed to get that little little tiny little clip off without losing it. So let's start. So I don't know how much um, 
how much play there should be in the outer cable. Just back in the old like Triumph motorbike days, it was like an eighth of an inch, which is imperial for three millimeters in metric. In case you didn't know, roughly, approximately, Pro almost. But I think also with this cable that I bought, I can trim back the outer on the final fit up as well because it's kind of a bit long at, at the moment. It kind of does a bit of a loop de loop, whereas I could probably bring it around a little bit snugger on the back of the intake manifold. And that gives me a little bit of wiggle room. But again, for mock up, I think we're pretty pretty close to where I want it to be. Um, so I'm going to go and have a look inside again now and play with the pedal. Come with me. Pedal's sitting a little bit high at the moment, but... So that's like full. Flimsy feeling this pedal though, eh? I don't, I'm not sure that I'm 100% in love with it. So, might clock the pedal so it sits about there at idle. That'd be better. So to find it. LM key to fit it. This is. Hey, you clock these pedals, these clockable aftermarket swap meat pedals. Undo that. See that? It's got a little spline on there, a little other end on there. Real simple. Now I can put, put that pedal there, and she'll still get full full travel before she hits the carpet and under seal and stuff. Just looking at that I might actually move that pin down onto that bottom hole because once you get on the gas it's rubbing the there's a lot the cables rubbing the top of the cable outer. Not a big deal but eventually it could start fatiguing wearing out the cable. Anyway, back on there. Yeah, there's a fair amount of play in this. I did experiment with putting some extra washers and stuff in there, but it, um, it kind of just made it tight. Whereas, could still get a some extra kind of wash in there, I just have to almost shim it rather than kind of wash it and tighten it. I still want it to be able to go tight but take that that play out of the, the pedal assembly itself. Now what I'm saying, no, let's have another sip. Cool if this pedal, brake pedal, was just slightly longer like some of the old Valiant ones and Mopar ones where they come over a bit further. There's a possibility of doing that though. So I could go. That's probably about right though. What do you reckon? It's, just, it's, not, it's not too bad actually. I'm just thinking about driving position. Pretty easy on the foot. Can I rest on that for hours on end? Probably can, but just cruising. We'll put another return spring on it or something like that and just make that a little bit tougher, like a progressive spring so it just so you can just rest your foot on it at kind of idle and cruising speed and then you have to kind of push it in a bit to give it things, but give it some 
get some jandal. It actually feels too bad. I just wish that brake pedal was over just a touch. Hmm. So here's where my accelerator cable comes out through the firewall. As I said before, I'll probably put some washers on this once we um this is all cleaned up, holes welded up, panel beaded and painted and stuff like that. But um so that comes through here and I think the outer is just a little bit long at the moment. So I wouldn't mind it sort of, I don't know if that's too much of a bend on there, I think that's alright in it. Okay, the accelerator seems to run pretty smooth, it's not binding at all. But I'll probably cut some, some length out of this and out of the um, inner as well, make it all nice and neat and tidy. And just leave that running up through there. There's, there's Enos. So yeah, pretty happy with how that little project can work. There's not a lot of um, travel in these throttle bobbies, eh? Like, really? It always feels like it should be more, but it's it's not much. Only 40 mil or so. Good choice. So, here it is, all done. Um, these holes here, I'm going to get them from, from the other side when I take the body off and get the motor out of the way and stuff. Uh, because I have to clean them up nice because I kind of see them. So I'll do them from the other side. I'm going to move this clevis probably down to that hole just to take that friction off that cable. I don't think it will affect. It might actually make the cable, the throttle, just a little bit stiffer, but that's all right. I've got to maybe figure out what to do with that. Make some little shim just so it doesn't flog itself out. That's, that's about it for this wee episode of the Area 51 project. And how I have put a um, pedal in it. Uh, as I said earlier, this is not a how-to video, this is just how I've done mine. So, um, with a second-hand aftermarket pedal that I bought from a swap, which matches my other second-hand brake pedal, which I bought from Pick Park, which is like you pull and pick and pull, like a record yard thing, but you gotta go and get the shit yourself. It's like a bit of a rip-off, really. As always, thanks for watching and tune in again next time. And don't forget to subscribe. That's very important and we really, really appreciate it. And thanks again to all the new subscribers that have come along recently, which is really cool. Not that many, but still, it's a start. Still heaps to go on this old girl, but I'm getting to the point where I've um, got to figure out what to do next. There's so much little things as well as big things to do. So it's going to be, well, most of the big stuff's kind of roughed in and mopped in and stuff, but it's all the, all the little stuff and the finishing stuff to go on this, like, oh, I've still got to figure out what to do with the inside of the B pillars because I want to put seatbelt anchors in there, stuff like that. Got any suggestions? Bear in mind, New Zealand's got really weird well, not weird, though it's got really quite stringent laws on, on these modificated, modificated, modifica modificated vehicles. You know what I'm trying to say. For some reason that word won't come out today. Um, yeah, so we have to kind of sometimes get design approval from low volume certifiers before we can, uh, you know, get them legal on the road and stuff like that especially heavily modified, you know, body, chassis, drive line, all that kind of stuff. Not sure what we're doing next on the Area 51. I'll find something to do, don't you worry. There's plenty.